Kumusta? Ngayon ay may bago na naman tayong pag-aaralan at may bago na naman kayong matututunan dito sa Sir D Vlogs and Tutorials. An ecosystem has diverse living organisms. In the study of ecology, these living organisms are categorized on the basis of the level of organization. So, at the basic level, we have the population. Then, we identify the species and community to which that organism belongs, how it interacts with the ecosystem and other organisms in the ecosystem. Scientists have also studied the interaction between different organisms and classified their interactions into different types. Organisms occupy what are called niches. A niche includes the physical space in which they live, how they use the resources that are in that space, and how they interact with the other organisms in that space. The interaction among organisms within or between overlapping niches can be categorized into five types of relationships such as competition, predation, commensalism, mutualism, and parasitism. The last three subtypes are classically defined as relationships exhibiting symbiosis. But predation and competition can also be considered as form of symbiosis. Symbiosis refers to a close relationship in which one or both organisms obtain a benefit. Predation is a biological interaction where one organism, which is the predator, kills and eats another organism, which is its prey. Predators may actively search for or pursue prey or wait for it, often concealed. When prey is detected, the predator assesses whether to attack it. This may involve ambush or pursuit predation. Sometimes after stalking the prey, if the attack is successful, the predator kills the prey, removes any inedible parts like the shell or spines, and eats it. Predators are highly specialized for hunting, with acute senses such as vision, hearing, or smell. Many predatory animals, both vertebrate and invertebrate, have sharp claws or jaws to grip kill, and cut up their prey. Other adaptations include stealth and aggressive mimicry that improve hunting efficiency. Competition When an individual directly alters the resource-attaining behavior of other individuals, the interaction is considered interference competition. For example, when a male gorilla prohibits other males from assessing a mate by using physical aggression or displays of aggression, the dominant male is directly altering the mating behavior of other males. Exploitation competition occurs when individuals interact indirectly as they compete for common resources, like territory, prey, or food. Simply put, the use of the resource by one individual will decrease the amount available for other individuals, whether by interference or exploitation, over time a superior competitor can eliminate an inferior one from the area resulting in a competitive exclusion. In most cases, the term symbiotic is used 
to define a relationship that is mutually beneficial to the involved parties. In ecology, symbiosis is a close ecological relationship between individuals of two or more different species. Sometimes, a symbiotic relationship benefits both species. Sometimes, one species benefits at the other's expense. In the other cases, neither species benefits. Ecologists use a different term for each type of symbiotic. Parasitism is a relationship in which one organism benefits and the other organism is harmed but not always killed. The organism that benefits is called the parasite and the one that is harmed is the host. Parasitism is different from parasitism, which is when the host is always killed, such as when one organism lays its egg inside other organism that is later eaten by the hatchlings. Parasites can be ectoparasites such as ticks, fleas, and leeches that live on the surface of the host. Parasites can also be endoparasites such as intestinal worms that live inside the host. Endoparasites can be further categorized into intercellular parasites that live in the space between cells or intracellular parasites that live inside the cells. There is also something called hyperparasitism, which is when a parasite is infected by another parasite, such as a microorganism living in a flea, which lives on a dog. Lastly, a relationship called social parasitism is exemplified by an ant species that does not have worker ants living among other ants. Commensalism is a relationship in which one organism benefits while the other is neither helped nor harmed. Examples are the barnacles that grow on whales and other marine animals. The whale gains no benefit from the barnacle, but the barnacle gain mobility, which helps them evade predators and are exposed to more diverse feeding opportunities. There are four basic types of commensal relationship. Chemical commensalism occurs when a bacterium produces a chemical that sustains another bacteria. Inkilinism is when one organism lives in the nest, burrow, or dwelling place of another species. Metabiosis is commensalism in which one species is dependent on the other for survival. Porisy is when one organism temporarily attaches to another organism for the purpose of transportation. Mutualism is a relationship in which both species benefit. Mutualistic interaction patterns occur in three forms. Obligate mutualism is when one species cannot survive apart from the other. Diffusive mutualism is when one organism can live with more than one partner. Facultative mutualism is when one species can survive on its own under certain conditions. 